Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my entire updated SLG collection. I know that many of you have been waiting for this video, a lot of you requested it, so I hope you will enjoy. Before we get started on the SLGs, I just want to point out the beautiful roses that are sitting over here to my left. If you've been on my channel before, you know that I have teamed up with Rose Forever in the past. They're actually a New York based company and being a New Yorker myself, I love to support local brands. I love to feature Rose Forever. This portion of the video is is sponsored by them and it's just in time for Mother's Day right because we have Mother's Day right around the corner and these beautiful roses are available on the Rose Forever website for up to 60% off between now and Mother's Day so they're having a massive sale I also have a promo code for you guys to save an additional $25 I'll put all the information down below in my description box but the code is hello catwalk city 25 for an additional $25 off already discounted prices so this one here these both are from my favorite collection it's the crystal collection it's the acrylic set so this one here it pulls out with a beautiful drawer as you can see I store some of my SLGs on this one and then this one here I've got some of my sunglasses so the smaller set that has nine roses is kind of perfect in terms of the dimensions to hold your sunglasses I've got three in a row back there and then this one is a larger set that has 16 roses and it holds a bunch of my SLGs I have another one that has all of my Chanel ribbons and camellia flowers I have a bunch of these sets all sprinkled around our home and the beautiful thing is that these roses are preserved with all natural oils so these roses are going to last to up to a year a full year in fact this one here I got several months ago and it still looks brand new and really fresh the other beautiful thing about this is that the lids do come off so this can be like an acrylic tray on your vanity on your desk you can use it for stationery for perfumes cosmetics I think it's really handy and you guys know if you've been here before I'm all about multi-purpose all about versatility so you get beautiful set of roses and you get this box and the tray and the drawer I mean I love the way that this is designed if you're not into this acrylic set they also have other collections they have heart-shaped ones they have uh, suede hat boxes just beautiful so take a look at the Rose Forever website be sure to use my promo code if you want to save additional $25 and check out the sale because up to 60% off just in times for Mother's Day is pretty massive, right? So let's get started with the SLGs. I have about 15 to 18, and the reason why I say 15 to 18 is because some of these are technically considered SLGs, but I don't use them as SLGs. So let me start with the largest ones. So let me close this up here. And let's start with the biggest one, which is my Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch 26 size. And this is in the monogram with the Vachetta tab. Of course, this has since been discontinued, remodeled, and then relaunched. And it is much more expensive now, but it is, you know, leather on the sides. It's just different. The interior is now leather and it has card slots. I talked about this in a very recent video, so I'll link it up above if you missed it. But this is the original version. I use this really for toiletry. This is what I use it for. I don't really use it for any other purpose. I know sometimes people get really creative with opening it up and putting an organizer and then using it as a crossbody bag. You know, they attach straps and chains and all of that. I love the wipeable interior on this original version, and so I do use it for liquids and toiletries. However, when I travel near the beach or the pool, I have used it as a casual clutch with my toiletries or like my sunblock and sunglasses and hotel key card in here because it's really fuss free very low maintenance water resistant so again really nice to bring to the pool or the beach without having to worry so that's definitely the first one I want to show you the other one is fairly large and it is considered an SLG but I use it only as a clutch so this here is the Chanel large size O case and I'll show you the small size or the mini in a minute this is the beautiful houndstooth ribbon tweed that's the official name it's got the black and white tweed and it has Coco Chanel printed on some of the ribbons here so it's really intricate really detailed it has the champagne gold hardware zipper and it just opens up it's black on the inside with one zip compartment and then it has the Mona Lisa back pocket kind of blends in with the tweed this is the only tweed item that I have from Chanel I just think it screams Chanel it's just iconic the black and white I think it's beautiful I am a fan of the houndstooth and when I saw it in this pouch version I thought this is perfect for fall winter I can use it as a clutch so like I said this is technically part of the SLG category but I use this as a bag slash slash clutch only so I'm not sure if it's fair to include but I will put that out here so you can see leave that here I did say I was going to show you the mini o case just as a comparison so let me 
pull this out. In fact, I'll just jump around a little bit and I'll show you everything in here. So this is the mini O case. This is in like this really bright, cheerful bubblegum pink caviar. And it has, again, the light champagne gold hardware. And yeah, I've got some stuff in here at the moment, but the inside is matching pink. And it's really simple. I actually did a video a while back comparing this one with the Louis Vuitton mini pochette. And so if you're interested, you can go ahead and look at my Chanel or Louis Vuitton playlist. It should pop up. So this one compared to the large one. So you can see there's a huge size comparison. This is the mini. There's also the small, the medium, and then this is the large one here. So the smallest size and the largest size of the O cases. Okay, and then I've got these three Chanel card holders. This one here you probably have seen if you've been here before. It's quite old. It's nearly vintage. It was my first card holder that my husband got for me either when we were dating, engaged, or just newly married. Honestly, I can't remember, but we were quite young in our 20s, and it has held up beautifully. This thing is almost 20 years old. Yeah, so it's a beautiful card holder. And then this one actually has the Camellia flower imprinted on red caviar with champagne gold hardware. Also also really beautiful I got this a few years ago uh, there's a story behind this really quickly I actually entered the giveaway that LV lover CC did Karis if you know her channel she's pretty massive in the luxury YouTube community I didn't know her at the time she didn't know me either and I had just been watching her videos quite a bit I think it was either right before I started my own channel or right after I had started mine so I had maybe like 50 or 100 subscribers anyway I won and I was thrilled she is actually one of the reasons why I got so excited excited to do giveaways of my own because being a recipient of a giveaway just made me feel so happy and grateful and I thought what a nice feeling to be able to spread this to other people so once my channel starting to get a little bit bigger I started doing giveaways of my own so this is quite special this one here I got from fashion file in excellent condition I wanted to test out the patent leather so this is the chevron so black so it's all black right and it's kind of like this crushed effect crushed patent leather and I did actually order a few other patent items from Fashion File with this, but I got really timid about patent leather and how it wears and how it's really difficult, nearly impossible to repair if it gets, um, you know, damaged. So I returned those and just kept this one. And I'm really glad that I kept this because I like the way it feels. It's just really smooth and it's wipeable. It's low maintenance. I have noticed that it gets a little bit sticky when I'm in humid areas or it's really, really hot, but I'm not too concerned because it's just a small little card holder. So these are the three that I have. I will say that the black one I use the most these days and I am enjoying it. Okay, and then what was the other one that was in here? Uh, this one here is my Hermes Bastia coin purse. You can hear I have lots of coins in here. It has a different pop of color. So this, I think the color was Rose Quebracho, something like that. It's like a really pretty pop of pink but it has like orange and red undertones and then underneath here is this beautiful what they call gold color by Hermes but it's like this caramel brown so I love the two-tone I actually purchased two of these and I did a giveaway with the other one over the holidays last year so that was fun and so there's that and speaking of coins I also have this one wow when I first started my channel what was that, a little less than three years ago one of the first giveaways that I did was this Longchamp coin purse and I still remember Chrissy she won it and I'm so happy for her so this one here is just red nylon it's kind of like a shrunken down version of the Le Pliage totes right with the beautiful cowhide brown leather trim and the beautiful stitching I think they did a really nice job considering how small this is they really kept the quality and the craftsmanship and then the zipper here with the gold hardware I have a bunch of coins I will admit that coins are not friends of mine whenever I get coins I kind of cringe because they're heavy and they're dirty and I don't really use cash or coins very often everything is through my phone or credit card so you can see here I have lots of coins although nowadays with my kids sometimes they want to grab coins and buy you know little things here and there so it comes in handy so that's that let me just move these up here so you can have a better look and then I am bouncing around I said I have about 15 to 18 right so we'll get through these 
And this one here is my Louis Vuitton key pouch. I use this every single day. It's in the Dami Ibin. I have my keys in here. That's what I use it for. But sometimes I will add my credit cards and my driver's license as well. So I can use it as an all-in-one if I'm not going far. And I just want to grab and run with this and my phone. It has nice lining. Remember, you guys, I ordered one of these and it smelled terrible. It smelled like chemicals. And it wouldn't really go away. It wouldn't air out. And even on my hands, when I wash my hands, the smell was still there. So... I ultimately returned that one even though some of you had said that I was being too fussy about it. The smell was horrible. I'm very, very sensitive with odors. So anyway, I returned that and I got this one and it's made in France and it's beautiful. The other thing was one of the ones that I got, I think it was a smelly one, had a stitch work that was really wonky so you could see all the holes in between the stitches. Again, some of you said that I was being too picky and that I should just relax, but honestly, I don't like to settle when I'm paying for things like this that are non-essential luxury items. I wanna just enjoy them and not have to worry about quality. So this one works out really nicely and I'm glad that I did wait and wait for the right one because I use it daily every single day and if there was a problem with it it would just be a reminder of how I settled and I wouldn't like that. So this one here is the mini pochette. I did a video recently comparing this one with the Coach Nolita 15. In fact I'm giving away uh, one of the brand new, oh let me see if I have it here, let me just grab it still in here I compared it with my daughter's that I purchased for her it was in the red color but this is a brand new one and this is in the strawberry haze color still has all the wrapping so I did do a pretty in-depth comparison of these two if you want to go check out that video and um, I'm gonna be announcing the winner of this one very soon Okay, so yeah, this one here is pretty much a staple. It has all of my little knickknacks in here. Just, you know, kind of a catch-all for all things. Lipsticks, little perfume, extra cards, hand sanitizer, etc., etc. But I will say that now that the price is, what, $745 retail, I have a really hard time swallowing that pill. You know, with sales taxes here in New York, that means you're paying over $800 for this little thing. And to be honest, as much as I love this and I use it very much, I don't know that I I could get myself to pay over $800 for a little canvas pouch. Maybe some of you feel differently. I honestly don't know how I would feel if I didn't already own one, so it's not really a fair question, right, because I've been using mine and enjoying it. But yeah, when I purchased this one, it was, what, like mm, half the price it is now, roughly? And then this one here, my cosmetic pouch in the PM size. It's got the little diamond Vachetta tabs. This is where I store all of my everyday makeup or so. I did a video on this. I showed my beauty favorites. I showed what's inside. So if you missed it, I will link that up above. And then I've got this one here, which is a really old Prada wallet. It's the only full-size continental wallet that I own. It's in the pink Prada Safiano with this bright gold hardware. I think it's really pretty. Um, I don't know. I always had a thing for pink, especially when it comes to SLGs. It's a nice way to add pops of color without a huge commitment. I probably have some stuff in here. Yeah, I've got some stuff in here, so I'm not going to show, but it has a design in the configuration of a continental size wallet. Pretty standard, nothing surprising, nothing different. And this one, even though I never use it anymore, because it is my only continental size wallet, I'm just going to hang on to it. It's not something that I'm in a rush to let go or sell, and I do love the color. This is the other wallet that I have that's a compact size. This is the Saint Laurent in the croc embossed leather. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It has the silver YSL logo. And I like this one here because the back has a, a separate pocket for coins. So that's really nice. This is how it opens up. It's really, really soft, nice quality leather. I do believe this version is still available in the YSL boutiques. I got this a couple of years ago, but I think this is a classic style that they usually have in various different leathers so this one too i don't use very often because i'm really more often using card holders in my smaller bags but because it's my only compact size wallet and i try to use more appropriate wallet sizes when i go traveling overseas i am hanging on to this and i think that ysl does the croc embossing really really well it's beautiful it's so well done all right then let's see here um We've got the Louis Vuitton coin pouch or coin purse. This is the 2019 Christmas animation. Here is Vivian on a gondola in Venice. This one is special. I've talked about it because this is the same year in 2019 where I took my daughter on our first mother-daughter trip. I think she was nine at the time and we went to Italy. And one of the cities that we visited was Venice. So this kind of just brings back memories. And this is where I have my old school Apple earbuds. 
and beautiful pop of blue on the inside. This is my only Christmas animation. I think I've got my fill with this one. I don't need to collect the others. Uh, where am I? Okay, this one here is from Dress Up Your Purse, so it's not really luxury or designer, but this is a really nice alternative to the Louis Vuitton key pouch in terms of size and design. I think I've done comparison videos on this one. You can see it's nearly identical. This one here is actually treated lambskin. It has the beautiful iridescent treated lambskin. Kind of reminds me of the Chanel rainbow iridescent wallet on chain that I had a while back, which I let go. It's gorgeous. I also have this one here as part of a set. So this is the middle size and I use this for our passports. So four passports easily fits in here. I've talked about this. This is one of my travel essentials because it just, it's really easy to keep your passports in really and it's a pop of beautiful shininess and color and it just makes me happy the larger size and the smaller size that it came with I think my daughter stole them I can't find them she probably has them somewhere so those two are from dress up your purse you guys know I am a huge fan of dress up your purse and I always have promo code down below in my description box so if you are interested in shopping be sure to use the code so you can save some money this one here also I featured a while ago. This is from Royce, Royce Leather Company. They're usually featured in the department stores like Bloomingdale's. Um, they're a New York based company. I discovered them a while ago while I was researching something. This is also a really nice author alternative to the Louis Vuitton key pouch. But once I mentioned this one, I feel like you guys went out and bought everything that was available. Like all the stock sold out within a, a matter of days. And then Royce actually contacted me and gave me an amazing promo code to share with you guys but I don't know if they make this anymore you might have to check their website but um, I keep my extra cards in there so all three of these have similar capacity and they all have the uh, the keychain as well so let me just show you really quickly and this one the keychain I've had this now for a little while uh, definitely over a year and you can see that the gold hardware is still in pristine condition even though I don't use it I just tuck it in I think it's just beautiful okay where are we now oh this one here I don't know if we can consider it an SLG it used to be in the SLG category but then Louis Vuitton moved it to handbag category so and it's definitely priced that way now this is the pochette accessoire and I took off the short Vachetta strap because I hardly ever use it. Mine is in the monogram Vachetta tab here. It has patinaed quite a bit and it's a made in France. I like to use this chain here. Actually, I have a bunch of different straps and chains that I like. So I love this one because I can use it in all different ways. I can double it, I can triple it. You guys have seen this before, I won't overdo it. I have a video where I showed like six or seven different ways to wear this bag. I love it. Um, in terms of the price though, I got this when this was like $500 or something, $540 maybe, and it has now jumped to, what is it, $1,290? Yeah, $1,290 US retail plus, plus tax, so it's a lot of money. It's definitely priced as a handbag more so than an SLG now. I used to say this is such a good bargain and, you know, for Louis Vuitton. And I used to say this was the most versatile piece that I owned from Louis Vuitton. I still think so. I still think it's super, super versatile. However, I don't know now if you think it's worth it for $1,300, basically. Look how pretty that looks. And actually, I'm going to show you. I'm going to double up one more time. Um, I think this is such a great piece. I really do. But it's really up to you guys to determine if it's worth it or not, right? Because... It's not, it's not like such a no-brainer anymore. It's not like, oh my gosh, it's such a good deal for what it is. No, it is. Everything is getting so expensive. So this is how I triple it up like this. It's a little messy right now because I'm trying to look through the camera. But isn't that really pretty when you triple it up? This chain also you can get from Dress Up Your Purse. It's the gold oval chain. Like I said, I have promo code down below in my description box. The other two I want to share with you that I certainly do not use as an SLG, but they're considered SLGs, still, believe it or not, are these two here. This is my Chanel Wallet on Chain in the black caviar with the silver hardware. And this one is also a Chanel Wallet on Chain, but is the filigree version with the beige and the black trim and champagne gold hardware. So I got this one first. I absolutely love it. And then I got this one a couple years later. Again, they're both considered SLGs but really I'm not using this as a wallet I am using this as a little handbag and I am 
wearing this really crossbody or on my shoulder. And this is the old or original version where it runs through like this. I love it so much because you can shorten the strap like this. It's so easy and make different looks for it. You can pull it through. I love it so much. I don't really love some of the newer styles where they're making the chain start from here. They'll add a little piece of hardware here and then it loops over because then you can't wrap it as well as this one. I just love this original model. I know it has the snap closure as well versus the newly updated magnetic closure. And I will admit that sometimes I have to really look closely to see how I'm closing it. But I just love that this is the original. You guys know if you're familiar with this, it has so many different compartments, card slots. I do have a base shaper in here that I love because it opens up the bag. This is from M Boutique. I have a promo code. I think it's still valid down in my description box for 10% off, I believe. So if you want to take a look and yeah, look at this zippered compartment. This one here, if you don't know, this zippered compartment goes all the way down. You can actually fit a bunch of passports in here or you can just hide some loads of cash, right? If you don't want to put it anywhere else, this is going to be much more secure. So let me just put this down here. And this one is the filigree and it's a bit different, right? So it's got the beige and then it's got kind of this big pop of CC logo in black. It's more, it's louder, but it's such a small little bag that I don't mind. I don't think it's like obnoxious or anything. No back pocket on the filigree version. This one has the Mona Lisa back pocket, like the classics. And then, like I said, this one is the new version, so it has the magnetic closure, which is a little bit easier, but this has also the original, I don't know what to call this, but it's the leather piece that kind of runs through, so you can easily adjust and pull the chain around versus the newer styles. I don't really love what they're doing with the newer ones. In fact, the rainbow iridescent one that I purchased and never used, the one that I said reminds me of this one, and then I eventually let it go to one of you guys, one of my subbies. Um, I noticed that had the hardware on the ends and I didn't know it at the time, but I remember fussing with the length of the chain and I couldn't get it right on me. And I realized it was because, partly because it has the hardware on the outside. And so I couldn't wrap it around as much um, as I do with these. And this is just easier for me. So that was definitely one of the reasons why it didn't work for me, aside from the fact that it was just too much color for me to wear on my neutral wardrobe. So there is my heaping pile of SLGs. I covered everything. I'm just looking around to see if I missed anything at all. I don't know if you would consider this an SLG. Probably not. But it is leather and it's a small item. This is the Hermes um, notebook cover. Ulysses. Yeah, that's the name. Ulysses notebook cover. And mine is in the gold Togo leather. It's gorgeous. It has like this really nice grainy, dusty feel to it, similar to my Birkin. And it has the palladium snap. And this is the, this is the Hermes. Um, this is the Hermes notebook that comes with it, an insert. And yeah, I just think it's beautiful. If you consider this an SLG, great, here you go. If not, I'll take it out. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out Rose Forever as well. These beautiful roses come in so many different colors, lavenders, blues, ivories, so many, of course, red and pink. So if you're looking to gift for someone special or Mother's Day or even to receive something beautiful for yourself, it's nice to sometimes just have something coming for yourself and you can display it in your bedroom or on the house and enjoy this for, like I said, up to a year these are preserved so check out everything down below in my description box for promo codes and links and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and i will see you all next time bye bye